Hey everyone, today I'm doing a makeup look for you. I was supposed to be doing my live tonight, but Boris Johnson's doing his briefing and I think people will be tuning in for that. So we're not doing the live today, but I wanted to make sure that there was something for you. So hopefully I can get this uploaded in time. Um, I've already got some, where is it? Smashbox on. Today I'm using this one here, Natasha Denona, 10R Fair Red. I'm not a yellow girl, I've realised. I'm very in the ready pink toned makeup and I've got a hell of a tan and the reason I've left half my head is to show you I'm really quite tanned but even this isn't looking too bad on top of it even though I would have liked a bit of colour I can put a bit I can add that on with a bit of contour but f as for matching up my skin tone I finally cracked it it's not orange or yellow it's pinky tone very warm very warm tone so I'm really happy I found that. I've been messing about with different ones. This is another one that's probably going to be great. This one is a warm tone. It's near Rosie or two. The co co kendo, co gendo, gendo. Yeah, it's a funny one to say, but I'm just popping this on with the blender. I'm putting a bit extra where I would need it naturally down the nose. And then we're going to go over with some con uh, contour afterwards. But to start with, I'm going to go in with a nice shimmery eye look. I'm going to use some lashes. And I'm going to do me usual. I have to put some colour in there somehow. So I really hope you've enjoyed this look. I'm just putting a bit there as well. Although I'm going to be using, I would probably say... Base study today as a nice background. Could go in with naked, couldn't I? No, not naked. Urban Decay Primer Potion, I could. Do I want to? No, I don't. I need to... I think I might have to, actually. Because Soft Ochre is going to be too yellow for what I've got planned for you. What have I got? Let's put a bit of this on. So Urban Decay Primer Potion... That's the colour I'm after. Now filming on the iPhone today, but hopefully you can see a bit more of like what I'm doing if I do that. Let me get you right in. It's only because the Canon, I don't like it. I really do not like it. So I'm going to get a lens for this, or I'm going to upgrade. I've had enough. I haven't decided which yet. It might upgrade might not even be an option because Martin was looking at some prices and it is pretty pricey to go up with an 11 or an 11 Pro because I'm only on an 8 at the minute. But I just don't like the quality of the video of the Canon. Just cold and horrible. Plus I don't think it shows much of the... It just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel... I don't even like filming on it. It gives me a bad feeling. Can't explain it. Hang on. There is an option for us that I could sell it and get like a Canon S750, sorry, 750, which a lot of beauty gurus use to film on. And that might be the way around. So I might just do that, sell it and get something different because I'm not massively keen on it. Right, off we go. So I've got all my foundation on. I'm going to be warming it up with some of this. I'm going in my cream products today. I love cream products, but you know this. Right, so I've washed all my brushes and I hair dried them because I couldn't wait to play with them. They were all wet and I was like, no, I need them now. So I'm going to dry them with the hair dryer. And I think it's worked because they've come out really nice. Right, let's go. Which primer? I've already done my primer, so I don't need to worry about that. Let's see. This is the ones we're using. These are Sarah's. Send them. The Wispies. We're going in with Tarte palette today. I fancy some glitter to use. I'm going in with Aura all the way up. So we're probably going to play with a nice background colour. Let's get that on right now. Need a big brush for this. Nice big brush. Go in with Aura as a lovely background. It's going all over. Now the lovely thing, this palette is so pigmented. It's a beautiful palette always fun to play with never feel let down by it never at all 
think that urban decay is starting to crease into me creasy creasy eyeballs we'll work as quick as we can sometimes it works all right and then sometimes it's just oh, i don't know but it's handy to get a bit in there so it lightens it up because i've had to just pluck my eyebrows again but it just leaves a like, stubble behind no matter what I do with them. I think my tweezers are crap though. They're useless at the minute. But I'm sure there's some coming. So I'm not to buy any. Right, that's quite light, isn't it? It's got rid of all that stuff there on the eye. Now, let's give it a bit of colour. Go in with an eyeshadow brush. And they say it's splayed a little because I was hair drying them so fast. But it's still dry enough to play with. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to use, hmm, yeah, I want to, I want to have a bit of something. I'm No, no, we're just going to behave ourselves here. Let's go in and we're going all over with this one here. So it's Aura Metallic. Beautiful. And the, the good thing about this is it's very light. It's not putting much down, so I might have to use an outer colour. I'll get this on first and then we'll do with that. So get this all over. That is lovely. It's a lovely light colour. And I do love the pigment in this. There was something... Oh yeah, I was watching a programme today. I was going to tell you all about it. Really cute, but it was a bit sad. No, the animal programmes. Well, I always say I'm not going to watch them. Martin had the monkey zoo. Monkey something on. Monkey diaries. I don't know, it was monkey something. And they were transferring monkeys from captivity into the zoo. And uh, it was so cute. And it shows the life of them. And uh, they go into their new enclosures and have new friends and stuff. And there's a little baby one today. It was so cute. It was called Julio. It looked like it was wearing a woolly hat. It <laughs> oh my God, it was so cute. <laughs> he just wanted to baby it. But we're, they're not allowed. They've got to like, deliberately make... It was a, no, actually, Julio's fine, but there was a baby orangutan, that's it. There was a baby orangutan called Didio. Didio? Didio, something, really funny name. And the guy who was looking after it, he said, I ha have to, like, not allow it to cuddle in because it can be very clingy. Because I think it's your mammy. They, they think you're the mammy. So you've got to try and get it used to being out in the enclosures. So he had to, um, I'm not even telling you what I'm using them. I'm not carried away with the, the monkey story. But we're going in with story, believe it or not. Story metallic. This one there. Quite a nice one. Actually, that's not. That's brown. Yeah, wrong one. I've dipped in the wrong one. Lauren, stick your head on. Right, we're going in with ritual metallic, which is this dark one here. So, yeah. He said you have to make sure that they know how to cling. Because they've got to use their muscles to get lazy. And they just sit on you and they don't like cling and use the hands. So he has lifted his hands up like this and it was clinging on. And he was putting his finger out and his feet were gripping on. But because some of them get a little bit lazy and then the mums can't bring them up and down the poles and the trees. And they were working out ways to put um, like exciting food into the enclosures for them to get them excited about eating. So they were bringing big um poles in like planter poles and they drilled holes in they shoved peanut butter in carrots and all sorts and the minute they put it into the enclosure there was this greedy one called gribsby the, it was a girl and she sat there all day pinching it and nobody could get at it for her she was a big pig and she just would not move out of the way stuffing herself full sticking her fingers in all the different holes but it showed them um like some of them were trying to get in and there was a little baby that was pushing her luck trying to get in as well but she didn't get anywhere and then I think it was a, a big boy that came along and he had a stick and he was pushing the stick through to get his bit of food out but there was, a clever, there was an even cleverer one on the other side who was just waiting for the stick to come through because it was poking more food out they were just so funny but then there was this other one I think she might have been, she was a chimpanzee, I can't remember her name, no, she was called Jolene, but she had something wrong with her, 
she was not well and they would notice she wasn't being herself and she was starting to get growths on her head um, and her, she was looking all swollen and just looking really sad and and then she started being sick and there was uh, poo and blood and so they thought she had something wrong with her stomach so they, they opened her all up and tested her because they thought it might have been cancer but they couldn't find anything except her belly being a bit swollen, uh, sorry her stomach. So we've got to wait until next the next episode to find out what happened to her but I hope it's nothing awful. I hope it's it's good because I don't like seeing anything awful happen but at the same time I just couldn't stop watching. It was just beautiful. It was just beautiful it's how clever they are and intelligent. Just oh I loved loved watching it. Really really loved watching it. I haven't been telling you what I've been doing have I? Yes I have. We're not we're still on ritual metallic can bring that over a little bit though, it's fine. Go right, can we go right? Yeah, we're gonna go right up. I want this nice. I'm gonna bring that up a bit and then I'm gonna blend that out. So leave it rough copy kind of thing. Even my friend Ashley, the other day she said to us that she was, she was in North Shields doing pogo. And as I said, her, that's funny because I didn't understand what you meant. I thought, a pogo? Well, what are you pogoing on? Plus, I thought, well, I was looking for poles or something in a picture and there's no poles. And I thought, I really don't understand. Anyway, later in the conversation, she'd mentioned she does Pokemon Go. And then I took, put the two, of them, two, of the, two and two together and realised Pogo is Pokemon Go. Duh, I'm so behind. <laughs> I'm so, I can't honestly, I'm terrible. E. I am absolutely terrible. Right, so we'll do some, yeah, we're going to do some more dark. I want, uh, let's have a see. We're going to blend it out with this, actually. We'll do that now. Because then I can put the dark in and not worry. Oh, it was brilliant last night. Um, we got on Skype with Mia. I'm, I'm good friends with um, Mia Mantegna and, well, Joe Mantegna. He's in Criminal Minds. The family are lovely, Arlene the wife, and then we didn't get to see Gia because I think she might have probably been at the other house. But it was just lovely to see them. I haven't seen them properly for years and years and years. They came to my Sephora event in LA, and then we went off to have dinner after, and I went to their home, and they're just the most lovely family ever. I've, every time they come to London, they'll ask if I'm going to be there so we can meet up. But obviously my work doesn't take us there anymore. But it was just lovely. So we got on Skype eventually. And Mia was just... I kept all, I kept all of Mia's letters that she used to send us over the years. And she was just... She had this massive smile on her face, the whole video. She's just lovely. She really is lovely. She keeps sending us photos of makeup looks to do. But it was just lovely to get on the uh, to Skype with them. So we're going to get again soon. And I've been told to watch the Rocky Horror Show because I haven't seen it before, which is embarrassing, I know. So Arlene's going to send her a couple of video clips to watch. I like it the way this is blending out. And I hope I'm making sense because honestly, I don't think I can multitask anymore. I used to be good at multitasking. I could do quite a few things on the go. But that's not anymore, not anymore. It's terrible. This is the Backstage Beauty Eye Blender brush, and I really like it. It's good, it really is good for packing the colour on and blending it out. And I think it's because it's synthetic. It works really good, it's like a multitude of ways to use it. I'm just trying to pick that bronze out a bit, just to make it look like it's not in one place. Come back off there, I've just put a bit up there. So hopefully this will be uploaded for you tonight. Sorry it's not a live. But if you want a live, I can easily do one midweek. Let us know. I really don't mind. It's not like I'm at work yet, but it's coming. Right, now we need a dark thing. We need a dark thing. I'm thinking we need a dark. What we're going to do. Let's do a dark. I need a little brush for this. I can't find it. Now I've got a little Kiko one. I don't, yeah, it's not dry. Actually, 
dry enough for me. Yeah, so we're going to go in with this one here. And I'm going to use sequin, memory sequin, so that one there, it's lovely. It's like, um, it's got a pearlescent sparkle through it and it's black. It's very heavy, so very pigmented, I mean, so you're going to get, well, you might end up with a bit of fall, yeah, I've got fallout. Can you see what I'm doing? I don't want anyone to not be able to see what I'm doing. I'm just darkening this outer corner, swirling that in there. I'm getting some lovely pictures sent by loads of you about the makeup looks you are recreating lately on Instagram and Facebook. I love it. Keep them coming. I'm just so grateful that I can inspire people to do something because it's quite magical, that. I will blend that out. I'm just putting it where I need it first. Just there. So my grandma goes in for operation in a couple of days time so I'll be able to hopefully tell you how it goes and I think everything's going to be fine. I'm going to pretend everything's going to be fine. Because she is strong. It's sad to see someone that you know lose their mind and not recognise things or kind of it's almost like they go back to childlike ways of thinking and looking. Like I remember when I took I took my phone and I went to see her and I took my phone to see her and I showed her the photo of her and my granddad because I took a photo off my dad's wall and I put it on Instagram or Facebook and loads of you said how beautiful she was. She looked like me. She looked like a happy couple with my granddad and everything and it was a lovely photo. And when I showed her it, she just had this childlike smile all over her face. She was just so happy. She recognised my granddad, but she was asking where he was, and it made us really sad, because he died years ago. So I hope she's going to be all right in hospital, because with no one being able to go in with her, which I'm assuming that's going to be the case, she's she's not going to know what, what she's not going to know what's what. It's an awful time to be in there, the best of times. I hope you can see. Bringing that over. And then same on here. So I've just spent the afternoon. Well, we went to get some bits in from Asda. We always drive past the beach. It's such a beautiful beach we've got. See if you can see. I've got a load of fallout, but I'm going to deal with that afterwards. Just want to get the corners nice and dark and... So we went to the beach, yesterday we went to the beach and it was just amazing. Honestly, it could have been in another country. It looked, it didn't look like Britain because we don't get blessed with good weather here usually. It was just amazing. We were paddling in the water, it was lovely and warm. And today, you should have seen the sea. Martin took two videos of them, they're on Instagram. So yesterday, nice and calm paddling. Today, I felt like, you know, or the wind, it was that bad. And the sea looked so choppy. I felt like Wilson Gromit mouth. It was just not nah, horrible. There's no way I want to go paddling in that. A really, really horrible. It's so funny though how it can change so quickly. And I think a lot of people, I might be wrong, but this is the feeling I get from talking to yous who email us and stuff. I think the erratic change in the weather can actually make your mood quite up and downy because you've got you've gotten from feeling oh it's brilliant everyone's out having street parties on VE day for instance the weather's beautiful it's barbecue weather and then you go to like dark bleak there's a different feel I think it's natural to have a bit of an up and down isn't it when it's like that anyway very weather controlled I know it is for me I know when the weather's not nice I'm a little bit mm, can't help it I try not to be, but it's just hard. I'm just going back in with the brush that I used for the brown. Try and get right in there. Can you see? Now I worked out, I can zoom if I take the cam turn the camera around. So next time I film on here, I'm gonna get a big mirror for the back. Can you see what I'm doing? It's, it's weird. So yeah, I'm going to get a big mirror for the back and then 
I can zoom in for you because I tried it the other way around. I'm like, ooh, but I don't have a mirror big enough. So I'm going to buy one, a nice square one, that I'm going to kind of mount at the back somehow. I don't know. You've seen my contraptions, but I will try. I will try. We'll get all set up for you. Now, where am I going now? There was my other little brush. Are you ready for some glitter? I feel like I'm not brown enough here. Bring that round. Maybe it's not the dark. Get that dark right in there. I am trying to get as close as I can for you. It's a lovely look. It's turned out really beautiful. I haven't, I'm nowhere near finished on the eyes yet either. But I do feel like I haven't gone up as much on... Where's that brush I've just been using? This happens all the time. There it is. I've got like a thousand brushes in front of us. Just want to blend that out that's it take it up and pull it out okay now for some glitter we are going in with some glitter I cannot wait right let's get that off me here we go. yeah I don't need to go any darker than that I'm fine I'm happy I'm happy I'm happy this is the glitter we're going in with so this one here which is Aurora glitter. So this one here. Beautiful. Is that the one? Yeah, that's the one. You ready? This is just stunning. Oh. I might have to use my finger for this bit. It did, yeah. We're going to have to use my finger. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That's the one. It's just beautiful. Packing it on. I'm going to concentrate it kind of in the middle because, because I'm going to use something else in the inside corner. Oh, it's so beautiful. It really is. It's so beautiful, this look to me. You could absolutely wear it every day, but you could also wear it out because it's such an it's a bit of a glam evening look as well. It just depends on your preferences and how comfortable you are. I do like to go berserk though and use like far out colours and stuff. So because we haven't finished yet, you don't know what I'm gonna put on the bottom, do you? <laughs> I did have some of this out because I was gonna go turquoise, but should I really ruin it? I don't know. You know me, I'll probably do the turquoise and think, oh. I like that. But first of all, I'm going to get this glitter off. Right, okay. I think I need to do something on the other lash line. What have I been using lately? Yes. I'm going to go in with a liner brush. Where we go? Where are we? There we are. So a nice flat liner brush. Sorry, angled. Going in with memory, the black. And we're going to draw a line on the top. Oh god, that is so pigmented. I don't know if you can see that, but it is just so black. And I'm just darkening this out. Oh, yeah. This is lovely. Hug that lash line and get it on. Got loads of fallout now. Let's get rid of that. I've just rubbed it into my cheek instead. You'd think I'd learn. I'll get rid of that. Right, okay. Bit more. I'm just packing it into my lash line and even though it's not an actual liner it does actually stay put it's really good stuff
लोगों को I need a bit more on here, you know, I need to just know. Yeah, that's it. Just needed a bit more. It'll be thicker up there. Hmm. Yeah. Shut that for now. Let's get a bit more foundation on my cheeks. Because I'm pretty much done with that anyway. Am I? No. Actually, yeah. Take a bit more than Natasha I don't know now. I'll just get that blended on. Right, so there we go. We've got our eyes, we've got our liner. Well now I want to put something on the bottom. So now I need to decide what to put on the bottom. Let's have a look. So we'll see what we've got. Oh yeah. I'm actually gonna go in with am I gonna do it? Yes, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go in with this here. Now, I don't know what colour it is because I've took the sheet out, but I will find out and put it in the description box. So, check the description box. Let's get some primer on. And then off we go. I'm putting a bit of soft ochre. I love this stuff. Under here. Makes, look at the wrinkles because I've done that. Now, here we go. So I'm going in with that olive green. It's gorgeous. Oh, that's nice. I have to have colour. I can't not. Ah, something in my eye now. Just blend that up right along that line there. I'll show you the other eye, probably be easier and better close up for you. Someone's listening to rave music and the sun's come out, so I feel a bit happier. Not that I'm not I'm not a fan of rave music, but it's nice to hear life out the back. It's not too much different to what I've already got on here. I do. I'm going to have to clean them lines up though because bugging us. That's it. Right. Okay. Now I think I'll put some white eyeliner on. I'm using Rimmel. I love this one. I do have another one. I've got a MAC one and a GOSH one. I'll have to use that next time. Get that on. Just brightens the eye right up. Brilliant stuff. And this cheap as chips. Right, so that's that. Then I'm using Maybelline Colour Show 100, it's black. And this is just going to smoke underneath here. And I'm even going to blend that back in over the green, but just the outer corner actually going to lift that up into the line sounds like the starlings are having a fight where's that eyeliner but i've got it yeah so the same brush and just push that black a good blend and it just darkens out a corner quite nicely so it's not as harsh i don't like harsh black lines underneath i've never have 
Don't mind it up, upstairs, I says. Up, 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 but not on the bottom. There's just something about it, and I think the older you get, it can kind of make your eyes look dragged down and small. You really want to keep your eyes nice and bright. There we go. I'm happy with that. I just need a touch of colour and the in coat. Yeah, I'm going to use the elf stuff again. It's good stuff and it nice and light. So this is what we're going to use in the inner corner. A little brush for this. See ya. The light one. It came off better than this yesterday. Did I use that one or did I use something else? I can't remember now. I think I did use something else, but I can't remember now. For the eyebrows, I'm just going to run a quick one through. I'm using Brow Reveal by Bourgeois. So it's, a, it's nice. Get them brushed up. I usually use me a brow kit and stuff, but... I'm gonna just do this for now, just do for quickness. Just push a bit of dark through there. I'm kind of loving these gels, like the brow waxes in one. Because I wouldn't like me pairs, but it takes ages to do, and I like it takes time. I don't want to rush it in a video for you. Then let's do some lashes. I've got me glue. I'm gonna go in with a pair of Ardell Wispies, Demi Wispies. Looking forward to this. I haven't worn lashes well since last video, but before that, not a long time ago. Where's my tweezers? You've got to have your tweezers ready. Where are they? E Lauren. Right. Found them. Okay. Pull them out of here. Get them on there for now. Right, give them a bit of a bend. Oops, I think I've bent this too much. That's better. Right, let's get cracking. Take the lid off this glue and get them glued. Ooh, would be stuck, wouldn't it? Typical. Topper call. Come on, come on. Oh! It's a really. I don't even know. Like this thing, the glue, I'm sure is out the backstage beauty lashes. So I've got me tweezers just in case, handy. Pop it on, push it into place. Yeah, I'm going to have to lift that up with a bit of mascara because when I've gone and pulled them out the tub, I've bent that bit forward, lift it up, it's coming right off again, back on there. Let that settle before I muck about. Get the other one on. They always feel a bit mad to me, like proper. Ooh, I feel like I can feel them. I know you're meant to feel them, but they're very, very, very feely, feely. That's it. Just let that settle. Lovely. And before I let that dry, 
and then I'm going to play about and try and lift that up in the middle because it's cut not in the inner corner look it's come up it's like fell down a bit but I don't want them coming off and because of the glitter it's not sticking as much as it has in the past so just depends on what you're putting them on top of but that should be fine let's just keep coming up get down what I think I will do is because yeah I'm gonna have to do that now I'm gonna join the line to hide so you see this here you can see how it'll stick up a little bit I'm not happy about that at all so we're gonna just kind of circled around it. Let me do the same on this side actually. Yeah, that would have been better if I'd gone in with like a, um, a pen tips. Well, never mind. I'm going to lift them up with a little bit of mascara. This one here is perfect. It's the Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez Inglot one. It's perfect for it when you're doing false lashes. It's so thin it doesn't drag them off right in that corner perfect just oh it's lifted off what a shame oh no stay put hmm. right so we'll do some do some cheeks now I've got this out today I'm going to be using 17 glow Instant Glow. I love this stuff. Need a foundation brush for this. I'm using one of them. Just a little bit because it's quite dark. We're going to just roll a ball, a bit of that into there. Mm -hmm. Just to give a bit of a cheekbone. And I'm going to come up here. Put a bit on the head as well. Just to darken this outer part. Years ago in college it was the shape of a three. Everything's changed now. I'm going to have to go back to college if I want to do this full time. But you can't at the minute, can you? Because it's shut. So round. And then it was like that. And then it's back or down and across. That's how I remembered it. Oh, they'll come off. I'm going to have to take it off and put it again. Right, that's it. Come on. Let's get some more glue on them. These things happen. You got, can you do? Shouldn't have shut me glue now. Right. Nearly lost the caterpillar. Just fell on my floor. Well, nearly did. Get in there. Right, we're covered. Try again. Right, I'm not going to get excited yet. Because remember what happened. <laughs> while that's deciding whether it wants this it's because of the glitter it's actually what happened is if you had a normal base to play with they would just stick but it's sticking to pieces of the glitter the glitter's coming off and it's bringing the lashes with them so you would probably be wise not to put the glitter on right the way down if you're going to use your lashes now same brush going in with pausey and i'm going to pop a bit of this on my cheek but it's quite pink, so I'll back on the hand first. Look at the colours. That's my lipstick choice. I love this. I couldn't stress enough how much I love cream blush. Just lovely. It livens your cheek up without dragging you down. I'm not a massive fan of dry baked products. 
that's why I don't like a lot of foundation I know a lot of you say why don't you wear contour foundation and powder and all that stuff well, I don't know why I'm putting it there but I just do not like the heaviness of a lot of makeup I like to feel like there's nothing on my skin but now that I've got acne and stuff I can't not wear foundation so I'm kind of trapped now for the lips I've got a couple of options where was it it's right in front of us Lauren so I picked MAC it was that one there I think this was a couple of the uh, Maybelline ones. They're the ink pens they've got. They're the stay ink pen, like stay tubes. What are they? Yeah, right, you've got these two options. I love the Maybelline ones. These ones here, like a dry, the dry matte. I want a bit of something. This takes ages and it still was dry. Sorry, still glossy. So we're going in with a matte one, but you could go in with something like that. It does dry really matte and lasts all day it will not come off your lip and then you've got the ink crayon which is really good again there's a couple of options for you i'm just gonna go in with this mac one and it's lacquered up It goes on the teeth a lot it's a funny it's a funny medium I like it but I do like a good old-fashioned lipstick as well there and there you have it there is my glittery love the color of that really 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 nice I'm gonna just pen in again where this has come because i've got a bit of the, the black but that's sticking down lovely love the bottom the the greeny golds added quite a nice subdued look to it i'll let you decide for yourself i'll put the photos on instagram for you um and i really hope you enjoy all the video description is sorry all the, the stuff i've used in the video description box and try to think if there's anything else oh yeah please subscribe like share comment all of that kind of stuff it really helps me visual ratings because i think i think youtube's forgotten about us so all that you can do to help really really appreciate it right i'm off i really hope you've enjoyed sorry about the live but i will do it during the week so let us know in the video comments if you'd like a live during the week and i'll get one done for you right i'll see you all in a bit zoom zoom